Hey everyone, today I'm going to be trying out magnet fishing underneath this train trestle. I figured this will be a good place since there's a whole bunch of scrap in this river that fell off the bridge or was dumped here. I'm assuming it was dumped here because there's so much of it. What I have here today is a three-quarter ton magnet that can pull approximately 1,500 pounds. And this thing, I stuck this to something the other day and I just could not get it off. I had to use a mallet and slowly slide it off of it. That's how powerful this is. But today, in a few test throws, even pulling giant pieces of metal out of the river, I'm able to get it off because they're so corroded under there. It's, it doesn't stick to rust as well as plain metal. And anything I'm going to be pulling out of here is going to have a lot of rust on it. And just in case I do get it stuck on something, I have a crowbar. And if you're looking at the edge of the magnet, I put like a hot glue bumper on there. Originally, it was going around the entire front of it so I could reduce its power by half because I was doing something different with it the other day and I didn't want full power. But today, I removed the front of it. And I'm going to try throwing it a bunch of times into this river. Believe it or not, this 1,300 pound magnet has trouble getting those out of the water. I just can't seem to stick to them because it appears rust is not magnetic. And there is a massive amount of those in the water. Those are called tie plates. There's one right there. And if you look in there, there's one, two, three, four, five. I just tried to get those and I'd say they're rusted like to the bottom of the river. They're like stuck down there somehow. And to show even more railway scrap, they're absolutely everywhere. There's like a square down here. Those can be found all over this river. There's another one down there. Here's another one. Actually, there's one, two, Three. So that's when they replaced the old tie plates. Their newer ones are bigger than that. So they just dumped them right off of the bridge when they did this work. Looks like there's another one here. Is that? Nope, that's not. That's a piece of rail. Much too heavy for me to move. So this is why I figured this would be a good place to do this. I'm just going to take a bunch of swings right in here where I'm finding all that. If you're seeing that water dripping there, what that is, there's these pipes up in there. I think from when they used to have steam trains or something. They no longer use them. I think that's just groundwater dripping at it. showing its strength now.
Well, that's not what I was throwing for, but I got something there. dealing with here, these tie plates, they're covered in all this thick rust and these even rocks are stuck to it. And that's why the magnet can't get to the metal to drag it. These are heavy enough by themselves, but these were stuck together. See that, how they're just held together with years and years of muck and mud? At the end of the day, I'm going to throw all that stuff up on the shore where it's not going to fall back in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try some more in this direction. Well, look at that. There's two more stuck again. Another one. From this high point, I can see there's like one, two, three, four. Oh, they're, they're everywhere. Whatever this is, that's pretty cool. It's round. I don't know, but I there's a whole bunch of the tie plates there I want to pull out. I don't even need the magnet for them. I can see them all. So there's two tracks above me. So that's hundreds of them that must be down here.
Looks like it might be all of them. Nope, nope, there's one here. Look at that. It sticks to my boot. That was stupid. I can see down here because it's so sunny and I can see exactly where they are. There's one right behind me. It's like pretty deep water, but I can see it. Yeah, it's stuck. It's one of those ones probably so corroded it's stuck to the ground, so I gotta. I don't think I'm going to get that one. Nope. anymore I'm gonna move to another area okay take a look at this you see they've been in there so long that's a spike you see it's completely rusted to the plate you know how long that must take for a spike to become rusted that badly but this that actually looks shiny right it's not it's just the color is like a silver gray mud So, I got everything here, everything there. I'm not going to attempt to do it there because the river is 12 feet deep. And if I get this stuck to something huge, I don't want to have to go under there with a crowbar. So I'm going to move up to that area. The other side of the bridge over there, there's none. They just dumped them on this side. The other side is like sandy, so you can see everything perfectly. What is that? That was on one of them. I have never seen anything like that before. Whole bunch of legs, giant pinchers on the front of it. Some of these pieces of railroad scrap are just so out in the open, like you can just see them. Like this one, just laying there. Obvious. another one. Every time the sun changes angles, more of them get visible to me. Now I'm going to have to pull that one out by hand. That one's stuck. That's 
a giant washer. Well, it was. I'm just going to grab that while it's in my sight. There, I just got two more spikes. Something else over there, too. I'm just messing around. I can grab that later without the magnet. something. Another spike. something big. I thought this was a piece of wood at first. Guess not. Whoa. That scared me. There was a crayfish attached to it. That's going to stay in the river because it's shaped like a cave and that's the crayfish's house. I'm leaving that for him. Okay, so today I fished out probably, I'd say, it's like 47 of them there. And 47 times 20, that would be the weight of this because those weigh approximately 20 pounds each, the bigger ones. Got this big piece of metal here that's for connecting two pieces of rail which they no longer use it's all welded so this stuff is pretty old for it to become this corroded got a bunch of spikes mixed in with that got a pretty big pile there I'm just gonna leave it up here maybe next time they do bridge work they'll take it away but that is a lot of weight it's probably at least 500 pounds worth of scrap maybe even more I'm not going to lug that all the way up there, but that's not going to fall back in the river. This river, even in the winter time, it doesn't get that much current. It gets enough to put that junk up there, but even when that happens, there's a brick wall here. It's not like there's going to be current against that, so that's all fine. Nope, actually 48. I forgot one piece out there. Okay, I just want to say this. Quickly, I came here one week ago with a 300 pound magnet and that could not get anything out of here. The string could not penetrate all the rust to get to the actual metal to pull. So I came back with one today that can pull approximately 1400 pounds and that did a pretty good job for getting this rusty stuff out of the water. In some cases it wasn't even strong enough, but the thing is you gotta watch out for that because that one is strong enough. If you got it sh stuck on a shiny piece of metal, you're not going to get that off with your bare hands. You need a crowbar. And the reason I'm not throwing far is because if there's something in there, like a brand new piece of rail, and I get it stuck on there, 
I'm going to lose the magnet because that's like 10 feet deep there and I'm not going to go under that deep and try to get it off because it's not going to happen. When I first got the magnet, I tested it on a, I have a brand new piece of rail that I use as an anvil. I stuck it to that. I couldn't get it off. I had to use a mallet and slowly slide it off over a period of an hour. That thing is a lot stronger than I thought, and I was concerned. That's why I covered it in hot glue to weaken it. But turns out it was too weak, so I ended up taking it off. It worked perfectly for what I did today. And also you got to make sure you don't slam your fingers between that and a piece of metal because that will crush your fingers. And also, don't put it near your electronics. It could fry them. Thanks for watching. If you wanted to see it, this is the other side of the bridge. See, it's pretty much just really sandy. There's nothing in the water on this side. Not at all. There's a lot of pretty flowers on the other side there. And there's also beavers on this side. I'll show them. Well, I don't think they're going to be out, but... I'll show the dam. There, that's a brand new dam. That was not there last year. That's Those are the two beavers that I showed grooming themselves last week. Still down here under this bridge three hours later and it's starting to get stormy now. I'm gonna have to call it a day.